Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a zipper heart pendant. Here's one of my completed heart necklaces. Bask in the beauty of the heart. This outfit works in a weird kind of way. This kind of goldenrod color reminds me of the Brady Bunch. Thumbs up if you've ever watched that show. All you really need for this craft is a zipper and some type of glue or thread. I recommend thread, a needle and thread because that is more durable. You can get zippers for really, really cheap. I got these on clearance at Joanne Fabric for 25 cents a piece. You won't find that all the time, but you can get some good deals. I also have a video on reconstructing old jeans or recycling old jeans. Um, the zippers on my jeans may be too short to make this heart because I get like the low rise and stuff, but if your zipper on old jeans is long enough, you can use that for this project. You can use these zipper hearts as pendants for jewelry. I'll show you how to attach them to chain or hair clips or something of that sort. You can even use them to decorate clothing or purses, anything you can think of. For supplies, you'll of course need a zipper, any color you want. It's a polyester zipper and that is the length of it. You'll need a pair of scissors, a needle and thread, unless you're using glue, then I recommend E6000 or possibly liquid stitch. I'm not a fan of hot glue and it would turn out bulky and probably fall apart. And then if you want to turn it into a necklace, you'll need a clasp. And for jump rings, I use two normal size ones and two little ones. Then you'll need some chain. I got this spool from Hobby Lobby and I used my 40% off coupon. And you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers. When you take your zipper out of the pack, you're going to unzip it all the way. All right, all the way down to the end. The first step of making this heart is to cross the ends. You'll cross them like this, and then you can either add glue or what I'm doing is sewing. Pick a thread color that matches your zipper well. Now I'm going to thread the needle. You're going to pull a lot of thread through. Cut when you think you have enough. Bring your two ends together so basically your thread is folded over in the eye of the needle. Sewing with two threads makes it a lot more durable. So you're going to make a large knot at the end by tying it a few times. So then your end will be knotted and look like this. Just grab your zipper and cross the ends. Stick your needle through and be careful when you do this so you don't poke your finger. And it's okay if the knot's on the front because that's going to be covered with the other layer of zipper. Put a few stitches in until you feel that it's holding well enough. Also, if you have excess thread from when you tied the knot, you can go ahead and snip that off, but don't snip the knot. Next, you want to fold one side of your zipper over so it duplicates this heart. I put a few stitches in at this point just to make the final step easier. Do the exact same thing and fold the other side of the zipper down. This is where you need to put a lot of stitches in to make sure that your heart is going to stay together. Before you cut your thread, you're going to make sure to put a few knots in the back. To finish it off, you don't have to put it through every layer. But you're going to take your needle and then put it back through the loop of thread. And that will form a knot. You can do that a couple times. Once you feel that you've knotted your thread enough, just go ahead and cut the excess off. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut the excess zipper off. When you do this, be sure that you're not cutting through any stitches. All of my stitches are up here, so I'm fine. But if you have stitches too close to the edge and you cut them apart, then they're going to come undone. And this side. Now your heart is complete, but you want to seal the edges so they don't fray. To do this, you can use some type of clear glue, maybe super glue. I'm going to use nail polish, and I'm not actually going to put the sparkles on there. You'll want to use a clear nail polish, but since I don't feel like going to get my clear nail polish, I'm just going to wipe the sparkles off and use the clear polish that is in here. But perhaps if you want to make your zipper heart sparkle, you can paint it with glitter nail polish. See if that turns out. Anywhere that you cut, you need to go over with the nail polish or glue. At this point, if you want to turn your heart into some type of pendant, you'll have to attach a jump ring to it. In order to do this, I fold the top, I take my needle nose pliers and poke a hole through both layers of the zipper. Open your jump ring, 
zipper fabric goes back together quickly so be sure to um, poke a big enough hole and to kind of move it around and then have your jump ring in hand quickly open and ready to go. Oh shoot, and I dropped it. Take one end and feed it through the hole that you just made and then leave that open because you're going to attach chain to it. To make this a necklace, I'm going to put a jump ring in both of the top loops. Another option is to add the jump ring to the actual zipper pull right here. I'm repeating this step for the other side. And again, I forgot to open my jump ring first. Gosh darn it. Opened. Twist it around. Ooh. Ready? Grab the jump ring and feed it through. Go, go, go. Mm, there it is. Go. All right, got it. Take your chain and attach it to the jump ring. Then close the jump ring back up. For this step, you need to figure out how long you want your necklace chain to be. You can disassemble a chain with a pair of pliers, but it's easier if you have a pair of wire cutters. So I'm just going to cut it off like that. My chain is going to be here and about to here. There. That's mine. A good way to measure this chain out is to put the heart where you want it to fall on your body, then put the chain around your neck and see how long it has to be for it to connect to this jump ring. So leave the chain on the spool while you do this and then hold the place with your finger and cut. Definitely look in the mirror, it's easiest that way too. So then you just join the other end of your chain to the jump ring and close that up. If your chain is long enough to just put over your head, then you don't have to add a clasp, but in my case it's not, so I'm going to show you how to add a clasp anyway. Find the exact middle of the chain by pulling like this, then just have it draped on your finger like this. The chain that's in the middle of your finger, which may be one link or two, is in the center, so you're going to snap those off. Then you kind of put your chain down to see if they're both the same length. If you're one link off, it's not the end of the world. Then you're going to open up your other jump rings. And this is a lot easier with two pairs of pliers for little jump rings. Once you open the jump ring, you're just going to attach that jump ring to the end of the chain. And then you take your clasp and you attach your clasp end to that. And close it up. And then you do the same for this side. Attach the jump ring attach the little hook for the clasp and then close it up. If you are right-handed or you're making this for someone who's right-handed then you're going to put the clasp on the left chain while your pendant is facing upward. So that means when you go to put this on your right hand will be controlling the clasp and it will be easier to get it on your neck that way. I just have found this out the hard way so just letting you know. So you can see here I attached a jump ring to the chain and then stuck the clasp through that and close the jump ring back up so it's attached nicely and I'll do the same for the other side. This jump ring is open, I'm putting it through the end of the chain and then while it's still open put it on the other side of the clasp and close it back up. Here are my completed heart pendant necklaces and a little loner purple one up there. You guys may be asking what do I do with the leftover zipper? because I bought long zippers and you know I only use this much for the heart and I have all this left over. You can make cause ribbons. You can also make flowers. I have a tutorial on making ribbon flowers. I made these two and I made this one. So if you guys want to learn how to turn zippers into flowers instead of hearts then go ahead and watch my how to make a ribbon flower video. If you want to turn your heart into a hair clip or put it on a headband go ahead and just glue it on. I would suggest gluing it on with E6000 glue because this is really strong stuff. You can also add chain on both sides and turn this into a bracelet if you would like. And you can of course attach a jump ring and chain and add this to a key ring and put it on your keychain. As for outfit ideas, if you have a neon zipper, you make a heart out of it and you put it on a very long necklace chain, wear a black shirt Super pop of color, good contrast. If you happen to find a silver zipper, you can make a silver zipper heart and make them into big earrings like mine. To do that, you could hang the chain from the zipper and just add it to earring hooks. If you're confused on how to make earrings, I do have a charm earring tutorial, so you could watch that, but it's very, very easy to just add jump rings to an earring hook and then add that chain or jump ring to this the same way I taught you how to do the necklace. 
You could also glue your heart to a pin backing and make it into a brooch. You could also use these to decorate an old t-shirt. You could put a bunch on one side, just kind of sew them on. Christmas is coming up at the time of me filming this video anyway. This would be a great ornament for your Christmas tree. You could fill an entire Christmas tree with heart zippers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and thought this was a cute idea. If you guys make your own zipper heart, post a picture on my Facebook fan page or tweet it to me or tag me on Instagram like hashtag um, Hope Glimmers or Sarah Lynn T. Or you can at sign me but sometimes I don't see all those. Yeah, and make sure if you Instagram it to me that your profile isn't private or else I can't see it. So yeah, check out all my links in the down bar. That's what I was getting at too. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye. These are my nice pink fabrics. That was, that was scary. I think I almost killed myself. This matches somehow in a weird, weird way. A weird 70s way, I guess. Okay, this is the first heart I made. And the first step, I used liquid stitch to hold the zipper together. You have to put lots and lots on and hold it together really tightly. And it turns out kind of messy. I tried to glue these front pieces on and then they just kind of flopped up and came off um so that's why i think sewing is the best option um you can use liquid stitch like i said but it might um uh, not i don't know it just it doesn't work as great and i am not a fan of hot glue i feel like it will turn out really bulky if you use hot glue and it probably will peel apart at some point e6000 would probably hold this together but i don't know how bulky it would be so sewing is your best option. Again, I'm just going to keep saying that. So, so, so.